Today, some high school students turned their day off from school into a day of service. Our Sarah Maki went to the south suburbs where kids discovered a few hours of their time could bring lasting change in their community. In the Homewood Flossmore Wrestling Room Monday. This book called In a People House. Athletes traded takedowns for reading time. Come inside, Mr. Bird, said the mouse. I'll show you what there is in a people house. Captivating this young crowd, a lesson in leading by example. I wish that when I was younger, I could have had high schoolers come and talk to me and read to me. I would have really enjoyed that. Share, share, share. For senior Jeremy Thomas, this is a habit instilled in him. Growing up black, my parents emphasized reading a lot because, you know, it was a right that we didn't used to have. So, you know, I, I, um, my dad specifically, like, they, he made sure I read a lot when I was younger. So. And, you know, literacy is, it's a life or death skill, I think. I think it's something that if you look at, like, prison rates, like kids, people that get incarcerated are reading at a third grade or low, lower level. We promote reading. We encourage them to understand that a book is a window and a mirror. Coach and biology teacher Evan Roberts penned his own children's series. I didn't even realize that it was such a need for children's books until I met a librarian uh, who just happened to mention to me that finding books that have children of color is such a big challenge now. Some of those books in the hands of readers here now. Each page flip a small step to making sure these kids find their happy ending. In Flossmore, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. It's just so great to see. We wanted to find the statistics that Roberts mentioned regarding literacy and the prison population. And here's what we found. The National Adult Literacy Survey found that 70% of incarcerated adults cannot read at a fourth grade level. This is just one of several MLK Day events around Flossmoor. They started participating in a day of service in 2015, and the village's events have now expanded past a one-day schedule.